Hello guys, welcome back to Various Corner. It's Emily here and today I'm going to be doing the end of the year book tag. I think this video was supposed to be filmed around the beginning of autumn, but it's winter now. I love this video. I love these types of videos. The mid-year book recap tag is one of my faves. Same thing with the end of the year. So I'm so excited to bring this video to you. I am festive. I thought I'd be festive. I'm in the same place as before, if you've seen my December TBR. This might be echoey. Um, I'm figuring out the setup right now, but I thought for now, I'm so sorry, I'd be festive and have this cute little Santa hat on with leopard print. Um, is it cute? No, but it's festive, so I appreciate it. Um, there's, I believe, six questions here that I'm excited to tell you guys, and I'm so excited to show you the books that I want to read or that I didn't like. I don't know. Let's get on into it. Please subscribe, comment down below, like this video. All of my social links are down in the description box below, as well as my Amazon wish list if you would like to be kind this holiday season and gift me a book. Now let's get on into the video. The first question is, are there any books that you started this year and did not finish? And 100%. It is the turn of the key. I think any book that I did not finish this year, I just was never going to get to anyway. And I honestly didn't get to a lot of books that I didn't finish this year, but the turn of the key. I don't know what it is with thriller books in general. Um, if I'm not 100% concentrated on it, even if I really enjoyed it, um, I'm not going to finish it. I don't know. It's not my regular genre. I'm in love with romance and this doesn't have romance in it. Um, but I really, really enjoyed this book when I was reading it. I got, I don't even know how far I got, like about a hundred no no even less about 75 pages into this book i was really loving it it's basically about a girl that was a nanny she just stumbles upon this nannying job the kids are a little weird the house is a little weird but she's like money love this so much um and then she's writing somebody from prison basically saying i promise you i didn't do it i did not kill this child we don't know who did it we're trying to figure that out is she an unreliable unreliable narrator We'll never know, we'll never know. Um, but I'm so excited to finish this book. I really am. And I am in a reading slump right now, but I feel like by the end of this year, this is a book that I need to finish. I will finish this book. Out of everything on my December TBR, please go watch that video. Um, this is the book I'm gonna be reading. So I'm very excited to finish it. Please give hype it up for me. Please tell me if you enjoyed it because I so far am. The second question is, do you have any autumnal books to transition you to the end of the year? And as I said, I think I'm supposed to be doing this video around autumn, but I picked Red at the Bone by Jacqueline Woodson. Just the colors give me autumnal cozy vibes. It's basically about an unexpected teen pregnancy, which pulls two African-American families together from different social classes. And I believe it spans 16 years or it shows 16 years later and how everything happens it's a very short book um i put this on my december tbr because i really really want to read it um but also i have five total strangers by natalie d richards this is not autumnal but it is wintry and i felt like it'd be a cute wintry read this is not on my december tbr but maybe if i read it i don't know I got this at Barnes & Noble for $5 because they have that like Starbucks thing or if you get a drink at Starbucks, you get a book for $5. I believe this was maybe October's pick, maybe November's, don't remember. Um, but I believe it's about a girl named Mira who needs to get home to the, for the holidays very badly, but a blizzard stops her flight. And the person that she was sitting next to in the airport was like, you can just drive with me and, these, and my friends. But soon she realized none of these people know each other and something goes completely wrong and she doesn't know who to trust and every one of them seems to be hiding something dangerous so i don't know i don't really know i'm it sounds so cool but me with thrillers it just never works out so hopefully i can read this by the end of the year no promises but these two books are so cute to transition me into the end of the year the third question is, are there any new releases that you're still waiting for? And my answer is no to that. There is no books that I am really looking forward to or even did look forward to this whole year. Um, I kind of just stopped looking at new releases, um, unless it's from people that I really, really love, like Tahada Mafi, This Woven Kingdom, I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, I don't really look at new releases anymore because I just, I will never buy them. I don't have the money to buy them. Um, but if we're talking about bookish related things, The Hating Game movie comes out, I believe, December 10th, I believe. I'm so excited for that movie. You have no idea. I love The Hating Game. If you know me, love The Hating Game. I'm so excited for the movie, so catch me watching that 
that's something bookish that I'm very anticipated or is very anticipated for me. The next question is three books that you want to finish before the end of the year and you already know the turn of the key number one top priority but aside from that muted muted by tammy charles this is a novel told in verse if you can tell um and i'm so excited it's basically about a girl named denver and she's obsessed with music she's obsessed with singing writing um, and she just wants to get out of her small hometown and a guy named mercury who's a big producer for r b um, takes her and her friends under his wing, brings them to parties, to um, record labels, to music studios, um, and kind of shows them the ropes. And they don't really mind lying um, to everybody to get his attention, to get all of this fame. But then I believe there's some essay in here, trigger warning, I believe, um, that kind of just makes it not worth it for the main character anymore to lie. And she feels like she's silent, like she can't speak, like she can't do anything for herself. I'm so excited for this. I'm reading this for the Marion Bright Readathon, so I cannot wait to finish this before the end of the year. But also Royals. I'm, I'm holding this upside down. Royals by Rachel Hawkins. This is a book that I've been wanting to read for honestly years, but I just recently got it this year um, or re got it this year. Um, and basically, it's about a girl named Daisy Winters, and she's just a basic girl, but her sister is engaged to the Prince of Scotland, and the paparazzi are coming after her, and the royal family doesn't like it because she is not proper at all. And so they send a guy named Miles to come and teach her how to be a proper lady. Um, she does not want that to happen. I believe it's an enemies to lovers romance. They also have the younger prince um, called Sebastian. Um, and he kind of takes her on adventures as well. So maybe there's a love triangle. I don't know. But I definitely want to finish this. I've been saying that I was going to finish it forever. And I also think this is a book that I started. I got 14 pages into it and I never finished it. So, well, I guess I'm going to use this for the first question as well. Um, but I really want to finish this book. Um, and yeah. The next question, is there a book that could shock you and become your new favorite of the year? And I truly think that Muted could become one of my new favorites of the year. Um, there aren't a lot of books in this pile that I think will absolutely shock me and be amazing, but this book takes the cake. I'm so excited to read this. It's so highly anticipated, it's insane. Um, but aside from that, Know My Name by Chanel Miller. This is a memoir um, and it's basically about Chanel Miller. If you don't know if you, or if you haven't heard, a while ago there was somebody that was sexually assaulted in a college and basically with like under an alias, like a nickname that they put for her, um, they kind of spread the story all around and she is now telling her side of the story and there's some, every single time I talk about this book, same thing in the December TBR, um, I read this sentence in the back and it basically says her story of trauma and transcendence illuminates a culture biased to protect perpetrators, indicating a criminal justice system designed to fail the most vulnerable and ultimately shining with the courage required to move through suffering and live a full and beautiful life. I say that every single time I talk about this book because it's so, so beautiful. I'm so excited. Um, and I really, truly think that when I read this, it'll be one of my favorites of all time. Um, memoirs, it takes me a little bit to get into, but once I get into them, I am absolutely in love. They are so, so good. One of my favorite genres of all time, although I can't really get into them. It's very hard for me. Um, but yeah, those are the two books that I genuinely think will knock my socks off. Now the last question is, have I made any reading plans for next year? And I have, not super big ones, because sometimes I see other booktubers and they're like, I'm planning this readathon, I'm planning this, and it's such big and amazing things, um, but not me. I really do want to start reading sprints on my channel a lot more. Um, I don't know why I never thought that I could do them or that I really wanted to do them. I never really had the time to anyway. Um, but I, I did one recently because my camera and phone editing software broke. Um, and I wanted to at least give you guys a little bit of something and I, you guys really liked it and I really loved talking to you guys and I really want to do it more. So I'm definitely planning on doing reading sprints more, especially in December, you're going to get one. Um, and then I also, usually I plan for 50 books this year. I did 55 books and next year I'm going to be doing 60 books. Right now, I believe I'm at 64 books read, I believe. So it's definitely possible. And I and I haven't really read a lot this year. So I feel like if I keep it up, I'll read a lot this year. Um, I'm very excited about it. Um, and yeah, I think that's all of my plans. I definitely want to become more active on BookTube and 
not booktube yes booktube but bookstagram and booktalk um i really like those platforms i really want to create some more friends here on booktube um channel wise because i do see people talk about that i did want to get 600 subscribers by the end of the year i'm at like 570 right now um so it was possible but then everything happened so i don't know um maybe i'll get a thousand by the end of the next year I don't know, but I'm very grateful for everybody that is here um, that comments, that, you know, likes this video, that does anything. It really means a lot to me. So, yeah, I love you guys so, so much. Those were the end of the questions. I love these tags. So let me know if there's any more tags that you guys want me to do. Um, and, yeah, definitely stick around, subscribe, comment down below. Do whatever you want to do. And I'm going to eat some Christmas cookies right now. <laughs> Bye.